Hi everyone, it's Myrna from the Glenavon Library and welcome and thank you for joining me today. Uh, we're going to start this week with the 10 minute, uh, 10 minute tea time trivia quiz. So it's nice, fast, friendly and uh, still questions on Canada, Saskatchewan, books, uh, movies and other products that you can get from the library. Also about our website and some information about uh, um, the library itself. So I'm really glad that you could come and join me today. And here we go. Um, number one, <clears throat> what type of book has different endings depending on which one you decide to read? What type of book has different endings depending on what you decide to read? Is it A, pick your story? B, create a story, C, choose your own adventure, or D, choose your own destiny. A, pick a story, B, create a story, C, choose your own adventure, or D, choose your own destiny. That would be nice. Number two, what year was the first consumer product sold in metric in Canada? What year was the first consumer products sold in Canada in metric? Was it A, 1974, B, 1964, C, 1969, or D, 1978? A, 74, B, 64, C, 69, or D, 78? Question three, when squirrels hibernate, their heart rate drops from 300 beats per minute to what? When the squirrels hibernate, they go from 300 beats per minute to what? Is it A, 20 beats per minute, B, 40 beats per minute, C, 50 beats per minute, or D, 10 beats per minute? A, 20, B, 40, C, 50, or D, 10. Question four, in what year did Dominion Day become Canada Day? This one caught me out. What year did Dominion Day become Canada Day? Was it A, 76, B, 72, C, 82, or D, 88? What year did Dominion Day become Canada Day? A, 1976, B, 1972, C, 1982, or D, 1988? Question five. What animal did police arrest outside a donut shop in Saskatchewan? And what were they charged with? What animal did police arrest outside a donut shop? And what did they charge them with? Was it A, a goat for loitering? B, a moose for speeding, C, a beaver for stealing, or D, a dog for breach of peace. A, a goat for loitering, B, a moose for speeding, C, a beaver for stealing, or D, a dog for breach of peace. Question six. What is the name of the e-resource you can find on the Southeast Regional Library website that allows you to read newspapers online. What is the e-resource you can find on the website for the library that allows you to read newspapers online? Is it A, Newsreader, B, Publications Resource, C, Press Reader, or D, World Read? A, Newsreader, B, Publications Resource, C, Press Reader, or D, World Read. Question seven. What was the first Olympic Games that Canada competed in? What was the first Olympic Games that Canada competed in? Was it A, the 1936 Berlin Olympic Games? B, the 1900 Paris Olympic Games, C, 
1896 Athens Olympic Games, or D, the 1932 Los Angeles Olympic Games. What was the first Olympic Games that Canada competed in? Well, okay, what was the first Olympic Games that Canada competed in? <laughs> Was it A, 1936 Berlin, B, 1900 Paris, C, 1896 Athens, or D, 1932 Los Angeles? And this one got me too. <laughs> Number eight. Quebec produces what percentage of maple syrup? start again sorry Quebec produces what percentage of the world's maple syrup supply Quebec produces what percentage of the world's maple syrup supply is it a 48 percent b 77 percent c 53 percent or d 28 percent Question nine. How much was the most expensive book purchased for? How much was the most expensive book purchased for? And you can do a good guess on this one. Was it A, 2.4 million? B, 7.7 7 million? C, 30.8 million? Or D, 54.7 million and that was all in dollars okay and I think it's American dollars probably so how much was the most expensive book purchased for was it a 2.4 million dollars b 7.7 .7 million dollars c 30.8 million dollars or d 54.7 million dollars and question 10, already on the last question. What was the highest temperature ever recorded in Saskatchewan so far? Now, I know it's freezing out there, so we really want some warmer temperatures. And so I thought I'd find a question that makes you feel, remind you of the summer. So what was the highest temperature ever recorded in Saskatchewan? Was it A, 41 degrees Celsius, B, 38 degrees Celsius, C, 45 degrees Celsius, and D, 35 degrees Celsius? So A, 41, B, 38, C, 45, or D, 35? So, here we go with the answers. How do you think you got on? <clears throat> Are you with your friends and so you got the competition going? Are you going to get the person who wins to buy the coffees or is it the other way around? The loser buys the coffees, huh? <laughs> so how about we go through the answers and see who's won? And if you're on your own, that's great too because you're learning something new and I really appreciate you joining me. And so here we go. Question one, what type of book has the different endings depending on which you decide to read? And that would be C, choose your own adventure. And we have lots of those choose your own adventure books in our library. And we also have a supply of them that you can get from other libraries. And they're very good. They're based on, um, well, they're, they're, they're marketed for the youth. And so um, if you have any teenagers in your house, I'm pretty sure that they would love to try a copy of this book. So I recommend it very much. In fact, I read them sometimes myself. <clears throat> Question two, what was the first consumer product sold in metric in Canada? And that would be A, 1974. And the first product to be produced in Canada in metric was toothpaste. Question three, when squirrels hibernate, their heart rate, heart rate drops from 300 beats per minute to what? And the answer to that is D, 10 beats per minute, which is pretty amazing. Nature is amazing. 
Question four, what year did Dominion Day become Canada Day? Well, was that easy for you? Because that was a hard question for me. And that was C, 1982. Question five, <laughs> what animal did police arrest outside a donut shop in Saskatchewan and what were they charged with? Well, it was A, a goat for loitering, which was, um, so the story goes that the RCMP in Warman, Saskatchewan were forced to arrest a stubborn goat outside a Timmy's. Of course, you can't get much more Canadian than that, huh? <laughs> Number six, what was the name of the e-resource you can find on the Southeast Regional Library website that allows you to read newspapers online? And that is C, the press reader. It's a very, 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 very good resource, I have to say. I love reading newspapers and I use that a lot. Number seven, what was the first Olympic Games that Canada competed in? And that would be B, 1900 Paris Olympics. Yeah, that one caught me out too. <laughs> I thought it was something a lot later, like the 32 Los Angeles ones, but nope, 1900 Paris Olympics. So pretty cool, huh? Number eight, Quebec produces what percentage of the world's maple syrup supply? And that is B, 77%. 77%. Of the world's maple syrup comes from Quebec. Number nine. How much was the most expensive book purchased for? And that was C, $30.8 million. And it was the Codex Lester by Leonardo da Vinci, purchased by Bill Gates. I don't have the year though, I'm sorry. I should have found out a little more, found out what year it was, but yep, the most expensive book, 30.8 million. I could do with a few dollars from that. Number 10, what was the highest temperature ever recorded in Saskatchewan? And I wanted you guys to feel and remember the uh, warm temperatures that we get in the summer because it won't be long till it's spring, I promise. So was it, um, what was the highest temperature ever recorded in Saskatchewan? And that was 45 degrees centigrade, which is around about the equivalent to what we're temperature, our temperatures are right now, only we're in the minus instead of the plus. And um, if you want to know what that is in Fahrenheit, that's 113 degrees Fahrenheit. And that was recorded in Mydale. So I want to thank you for joining me. Uh, that was my first ever 10 minute, uh, speedy 10 minute tea time uh, trivia quiz. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you will join me next week for another 10 minutes. So if you want to watch uh, me every week then and just do the 10 minutes, that's great. Or you can always get them all together in one go and then do a full um months worth or something like that i don't know it's up to you but i hope you had a fun time and you learned something new and i will see you next week thank you for coming along and have a good week and stay warm and uh it'll soon be spring i promise it'll soon be spring bye